Vermont Governor Phil Scott's new travel restrictions imposing a 14-day self-quarantine for people traveling to or from Grafton County coming as a surprise and disappointment to many people in the Upper Valley. Some of the businesses are very concerned. Grafton County Commissioner Linda Lauer saying it's another setback for businesses in the area. For the small businesses, it's even worse because losing two or three customers a day is a big difference. Some people from Vermont are going to think twice before they come across just because the fact that we're not quarantined implies that we're not quite as safe. Hanover Town Manager Julia Griffin is also concerned. I was a little surprised when I heard, but mostly because I wasn't aware in comparison with Windsor County cases per capita that our caseload was higher in Grafton County. COVID cases have been on the rise. There are more than 40 active cases right now. By New Hampshire state metrics, that puts Grafton County in the green. But Vermont sees it differently. Using alternate formulas, the number of cases is too high and rising too fast. But the fact that these border towns rely so heavily on one another is causing some confusion when it comes to who the restrictions apply to. I was in Woodsville and there were lots of Vermont cars in the parking lots. And I was up in Littleton and the same thing was true up there. So um, I think people are still going back and forth across the border. There will be some impact and particularly in Hanover and in Lebanon, we're very much a bi-state region here. And, and we're back and forth across that border multiple times a day. Things like grocery shopping, going to school or the hospital are not impacted by the restrictions. And many are just hoping things don't get worse and that these rules serve as a reminder to remain vigilant. I would hope that we can all buckle down and pay a little bit more attention to masks, a little bit more attention to social distancing and washing our hands and, and doing all the things that we know can help to restrict the spread of COVID-19 so that these restrictions are lifted. And the travel restrictions are based on the honor system. They're very similar to restrictions that were in place in the spring. Reporting in Hanover, I'm Nicole Lally, WMUR News 9.